hello students good evening so in this session we are going to learn very important and easy circuit breaker that is vacuum circuit breaker last session we have seen some portion of vacuum circuit breaker in this case we are going to learn in details of vacuum circuit breaker how this breaker play a vital role in 33 by 11 kv substations if you are observing nearly 75 to 80 percentage of breakers used in telangana and andhra pradesh 33 by 11 kv substations to interrupt the 11 kv feeders and 33 kv feeders generally we are using this vacuum circuit breakers so what is the important because this vacuum circuit breaker uh, will very less maintenance and it can be operated nearly 10000 times closing and tripping and closing can be easily done frequently very frequently nothing will happen so such a good quality of vacuum circuit breakers nowadays we are going to use sf circuit breakers but is sf circuit breakers can be used for high voltage purpose whereas in case of 130 kv substation and 220 kv substation and 400 kv substation and 760 by kv substations that is a very feasible but even if you are operating more and more time the consumption of the gas sf gas is required the maintenance of the gas also required in this case there is no need of any type of the media hence it is a very uh, important to know as a electrical students what it it contains internal parts and what are the each part play its own role let us see this one and same you can observe this vacuum circuit breaker also used in uh, traction locomotives after contact the pentagraph to the 26 kv single line it is going to inside the the train before that one there is a vacuum circuit breaker on off purpose you can observe the sound also sometimes it is a breaking time in case of the stations if you are observing in kajipet or uh, warangal and secondary railway stations when out the pentagraph is lifted and uh, disconnected and that there is a arc after that before uh, closing you no know, opening up this one there is a uh, in between the circuit breaker that is a vacuum circuit breaker and easy and lightweight and compactness let us see about this one now before that one once again i i want to introduce myself my name is dr ch adaya senior lecturer in electrical and electronics engineering government polytechnic usnabad this sessions for the diploma fifth semester ee fine art 4 a optional subjects that is a switch gear and protection subject in that we are going to learn in this session the second chapter that is circuit breakers and reactors in that one the previous we have covered the breakers oil circuit breakers in that one the bulk oil circuit breakers and minimum oil circuit breakers we already covered at the same time some portion of the vacuum circuit breakers also we have covered now in details let us see the vacuum circuit breakers the remaining part in this class what is the merits and demerits and applications and how these are used in uh, our substations let us see it now so you know that this objectives now you can see at a glance so parts of this one so what are the parts now 
you can see this is a 33 kb vacuum circuit breaker real time it is used in our substations what are the if you are seeing the internal parts so what is this one what is this one what is this one what is this one we are going to learn so you know that everything here if you are seeing this one so this is a glass or ceramic material it act as a ceramic insulator inside total covers and this is a fixed contact the copper material this is a moving contact this is a bellow it is a made up of the stainless steel metals the this is a bellow shield and in between this is a here you can see the two contrast close each other and you can see that this is a metallic part is a sputter it is a these are the main main parts now you can see here so this is a insulating envelope made up of the glass or ceramic insulator and this is a vapor condensation shield so next supporting purpose and the shield and shield support flange uh, moving contact and bellows and bellow shield and this is a fixed contact inside the vacuum created as we know that the vacuum is nearly 10 to the power of minus 5 tor to 10 to the power of minus 7 tor is required these are the main main parts of a vacuum circuit breaker you should know here the physical one you can see here this is a physical one this is a our diagrammatical same now let us see one by one in details construction each part what is the purpose now you can see here now it has an outer envelope which is made up of glass joined with end rings so here you can see in the figure itself figure itself so this is the end rings this is the end rings here this is connected here this is known as a glass sometimes we can say is a ceramic material also and next one the glass shield is used to examine the breaker after operation what you are going to see if the color becomes the milky white color then it indicates the required vacuum inside the breaker is not enough so you have to replace that thing based on the color identification next here the what are the arc develops arc quenching process takes place in between two contacts so what are the contacts here so between the two contacts here with it takes place the main arcing process is done in between the fixed contact and the moving contact and next the moving contact is connected with metallic bellow which are made up of stainless steel already we have seen here this is a bellow it has a spring connection metallic stainless steel is connected to the moving contacts these bellows are used to move the moving member up and down and a spring mechanism is connected with bellows to operate them it as per the convenient you can see here so now coming to the another part now you can come to the sputter part what where is the sputter here it is the red color you can see it this is a sputter the sputter shield made up of stainless steel is prevent to 
is present to prevent the metal vapor from reaching the outer surface so if there is a metal vapor inside it is avoiding to enter outside here it is deposit on the ceramic body so what is happening it will cover prevents don't go outside simply it will oppose prevents any leakage of this vapor so what is the purpose of vapor we can see later this is a help of the sweater we can say uh, this is we can say vapor condensation shield or we can say the sweater so made up of stainless steel material now the ceramic envelope is also present to insulate the chamber here the overall chamber is a total chamber is made up the glass or ceramic material it is a totally enclosed that is the thing now next here you can see these are the uh, parts this is a, next it is a total arrangement system this is a up to total system here this is the arc quenching chamber so that is this thing now you can see the male and female contacts relation at the time of corona virus that is a, at the time of arc so you can see here so you can see one by one then what is happening here now so these are the physical constructions let us see what is happened during the normal condition during the abnormal conditions so let us see now the working of vacuum circuit breaker you can see here uh, what is happening so this total arrangement of the breaker this is the interrupting breaker and interrupting this one supporting this one and total mechanism this one now so this is a system we are going to see now you can see initially the fixed contact and moving contact both are contact each other and the current flowing through them continuously as long as the switches are closed now you can see the parts of a this breaker similar what we have seen already it is a, a vacuum interrupting chamber and a mobile contact and insulating pole and a contact spring and operating mechanism total structure you can observe here now next the butt what is happening initially both are close friends now what is the, in case of but as soon as any fault occur in the system the moving contact starts separating from the fixed contact both are ready to separate each other now what happened after disconnecting the contacts the last point of current this is a charge particle will be the contact surface it will be on the contact surface what is happening previously the contact area is a more then current is simply what are the current will coming and going now due to the heavy current the separation takes place the contact area decreases then what will happen the current by area decreased then density increases the contact surface which results in high current density at this point surfaces due to which a resistive heating occurs so here the resistive heating is developing due to the high density current high density current try to flows this particles the particles are having some resistance due to the h is equal to i square r t by j heat is develops that heat is go on increasing if time passes due to the because high current short circuit current now what happened due to the excessive heating the metal ions the electrodes the positive electrode and negative that is a, a two electrodes that means uh, moving contacts and uh, fixed contact both are heat that takes place then is start evaluating the the vapor the metal ion starts evaporizing from the contact surface 
then what happened a contact surface has a large number of microscopic projections by appearing it is smooth but if you are seeing with a with microscope there is a it is a projecting the some small small particles projecting materials so through protective uh, protective materials participates it participating in converting up metal vapors the arc is generated due to the due to vaporization of the metal vapors from the contact surface now what happened the arc is generated due to vaporization of metal vapors from the contact surface the from contact surface vapor is generated now the arc interruption in vacuum interrupter is different from other type of circuit breakers in this case the separation of contact causes the release of vapor already we know which is filled in the contact space in the vapor comes in between and fixed contact and male contact where there is a high voltage exist between two contacts what happened then it consist of vapor the vapor consist of a positive ions liberated from the contact material the vapor density depends upon the current in the arc if arc is more density of the vapor also increases if the current is less vapor of the density decreases and during this two process our vacuum circuit breaker also play a different role let us see that one also if the current is less what happen when the current to be interrupted is very small in a vacuum the arc has several parallel paths that means the current will try to flow from the fixed contact to moving contact in several uh, paths arc paths the total current is divided into many parallel arcs which ripple each other because arc is nothing but the current flowing through the media not conductor perfect conductor then what is happening it acts as a magnetic field and due to this one ripple each other so while it is flowing in the parallel then it produces a magnetic field due to the mag same polarity it ripple each other then what will happen so the parallel arcs which ripple each other and spread over the contact surface area so you can see the the contact of this moving contact and fixed contact so it occupies the total surface spread to the total surfaces that arcs this is called the diffused arc which can be interrupted very easily we required so arc should be uh, distribute diffused so automatically it cools at the same time it loses its uh, strength now in this case this is a low current when it is distributed the current value decreases automatically it maintain it, it doesn't maintain the continuous for the for the long time now if this is a process in this case of low current case if current is more what is happened if the short circuit fault is a very very high three phase fault then what is happened at high value of current short circuit current or fault current the arc gets concentrated in a small region so then current density is enormous then what will happen the arc gets concentrated in a small regions projection regions it causes a rapid vaporization of contact surface the temperature also very very high then the what about the the contact materials that is a copper and bismuth and copper and chromium generally used as a electrodes here so this contact materials deposes decomposes evaporates the in the form of vapor the interruption of the arc is possible if the arc remains in diffused state so that is a diffused state on the surface if it is quickly removed otherwise what will happen if it is quickly removed from the contact surface the arc will be in restrike once again so that is the thing you have to remember now when the current decreases after that what will happen its uh, work is over then 
automatically the dialog strength increases inside vacuum dialog strength increases then current value decreases so because we just separated once when the current decreases the rate of vapor release decreases automatically so the current is there is no current there is no heat there is no evaporation of vapor from the metallic surface metals and after current zero when this current the short circuit current comes to nearby before going to the negative cycle that is a nearby current zero crossing period the the medium regains its dielectric strength it gets the its own dielectric strength if the vapor density is reduced automatically vapor density reduces due to the current decreases its value now we can see here so positive wave negative wave when it reaches already the sub two contacts are separated the current is try to reduced and the small amount of the current which is flowing through the the metal particles and due to this one arc is generated the arc also concentrated on the surface of the materials during this period two contacts are separated a long period then what will happen the current which is flowing through the arc also reduced once the current is weakened which is flowing through the zero crossing period then automatically the current value at that uh, cycle zero then it may not get once again raised during this period whatever the our that vacuum gets its own the electric strength is a very very high it will avoid the restriking of arc once again so this is a basic concept you know also when this arcing current reaches its a past zero at the off cycle the di the dielectric strength of the vacuum rapidly builds up and it interrupts the current at past off cycle itself only it may not permit for the another cycle so the arc will not restrike because of very high insulating strength of vacuum builds once again so this is a how the arc is arrived when it is separated now after arc what is happened how we are going to catch the arc we have seen now these are the things and at the same time we have seen the the contact surfaces also play a vital role to formation of the vapor now here you can see it at for a glance further you can see some knowledge arc extinction in vacuum circuit breakers is greatly influenced by materials which type of the materials you are going to use for moving electrode and fixed electrodes generally these materials are alloy of copper and bismuth sometimes we can use a copper and chrome chromium material and the shape of the contacts also play a vital role you can see they are the three shapes you can see here and not only this one the material and shape of the contacts at the same time the technique of considering metal vapor how the vapor is generating that is the play when a good role these are the things so you can see here this figure here what is happening so it three shapes here here three shapes here you can see it first one is the, what is that one here the contact structure appearance it should be uh, nearly what is happening here it is a, a round shape smooth shape here it is a some spiral shape here axial magnetic field contact here some coating is provided now coming to the typical application this can be used in vacuum circuit breakers and this also used for already we have seen load break switches in industries and it can be used as a, a contactor male and female contact application if so shape it should but but shaped if it is used in spiral contact so for the high current purpose we can use in a vcb and for another purpose also we can use the vcb in low erosion because it is a erosion tear and wear is less and here we can use the vcb low surge purpose we can use this type of the axial magnetic field contact and what are the material generally used here so here you can see the this 
the flat butt type contact can be used with the help of the material copper and chromium alloy similar to we have seen next not only here is a silver and tungsten carbon material also used for this one for the uh, strong strength and not only this one we can use a copper and tungsten previous case silver and uh, tungsten carbon material second case third case carbon with tungsten alloy used for the manufacturing of this butt type contact so it can be used for general purpose the most of the purpose the load break switches and general contacts in the big industries where the current uh, tripping purpose is 6 uh, 600 amperes 1000 amperes 1600 amperes at that condition we can use this alloy and coming to this the spiral contact so we are going to use only copper and chromium alloy only this alloy can be used for manufacturing of this contacts and coming to the axial magnetic field contact so we are going to use the here copper and chromium alloy at the same time silver and tungsten carbon alloy generally use this purpose these are the uh, contacts fixed contact moving contacts so already we have seen it plays a very good role for arc generation as well as the kenching in a vacuum circuit breaker i think you have the some idea now coming to this one the they are suitable for capacitor switching as it will give a restrike free uh, performance where the capacitor because what will happen normal current resistive current easily choked nothing will happen inductive circuit also some creates some problem but whereas the capacitive charge currents the choking is required a special type of the breaker is required suppose if you are using the oil circuit breaker it may not work properly because, because charging is a, there is a possible to uh, the high voltage pulses developed in this while it is a gender, uh, uh, opening of the this uh, circuit so at that condition we are going to so use the frequent operation and the perfect nullification of this one the opening so we are going to prefer for vacuum circuit breakers nowadays in telangana also we are using all 33 by 11 kv substation 5 mva uh, uh, capacitor banks in case of the 130 kv substation 220 kv substation and sometimes in the 33 kv substation also is connected through the vcb only so you can observe that thing also now now you can see the one animation now we have seen it's what is its internal parts each part what is the purpose what is its role now how this operation takes place what happened so that is already we have seen now at a glass i have prepared small animation for your clarity now what is happened similar to that previous cases now here also you can see so under normal condition the current is coming as simply is going from the fixed contact to moving contact current is going on so here you can see the under the vacuum condition so nothing will happen simply it is a act as a conductors now when the problem occurred when short circuit occurred in this case then whatever the current is coming here now automatically disturbed and these two terminals should be separate you can see here now what is happening next stage the terminals opened the arc is struck in between the two fixed contact and moving contact you can see here so this is the operation now at the same time you know that the arc automatically weakened so because arc may not be sustained what is required for a simple a layman understanding now the flame has to continue for the time what is required we require the temperature required temperature is required some heat is required now what is required fuel is required now another what is required and oxygen is required if the oxygen fuel that required temperature is required the flame will continue for the time but if among three if any one not supplied the flame will quench automatically 
same principle we adapted in vacuum circuit breaker also now what is happened so to continue the breaker arcing for the time it requires some oxygen no oxygen so what are the oxygen presence in the metal contacts the metal which is made up of copper and uh, uh, chromium copper and bismuth so it may have the some oxygen some content that is taken and maintained for some microseconds after that what will happen no oxygen is supplied then self quenches automatically so this is a basic idea of operation of pcb students i think you have the some idea how the pcb will work in electrical fields now after that so we are going to see these are the some animation also but in three phases so here so three is a, this is a one chamber this is another chamber this is another chamber this is a r phase y phase b phase three will automatically activate at a time so this is a basic thing so previously we have seen the one cylinder for the one phase similarly three cylinders will operate at a time now so here you can see the one physical figure also how this our breaker for forming its work in electrical fields let us go to uh, 133 kv sub see the you see the interrupting chamber it's made of the glass you can see it sometimes we can the ceramic material also the glass that is the inside the vacuum so this is generally used in railways so inside total system is here. inside there is a vacuum so you can see the fixed contact and moving contact below below that one you can observe generally this type of the breaker used in railway systems it is placed on this one now let us go to the you can see the vcb this is a vacuum circuit breaker jo aa raha hai ye wire ye hai iska incoming incoming ka wire hai aur ye hai outgoing ka incoming ka hai theek hai dosto तो ये तीनों फेज का एक एक वायर है आर वाई बी का ठीक है और ये इनकमिंग आ रहा है हमारा आगे ग्रिड से और ग्रिड से पहले ही हमारे जो हमारा ये एक सिटी लग रही है और उधर ये पीटी लग रही है ठीक है तो ये सिटी पीटी से आ रहा है इन सब के ऊपर ये पूरा थोड़ा ये जितना भी स्टेशन है इस स्टेशन के ऊपर मैंने एक वीडियो बनाया है वो वीडियो भी आप देख लीजिएगा आई करके बटन ऊपर है उस पर क्लिक करके तो ये सिटी सो डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स इज ट्राइंग टू शो so ct pt that is a intelligent equipments no so it is a showing something the pt that is the potential transformer it will measure the voltage so vcb here ct and pt are you can already you are observed now we can see the mechanism how the uh, tripping coil and uh, closing coil operates this is a total box mechanism so 33 kv is a input voltage so its kind of a function main aapko batata hu ye hai main pcb manufactured by the abb company the standard company full form hai vacuum circuit breaker theek hai vacuum circuit breaker aur iske andar mainly jo upar mein dikha deta hu जो चीजें लिखी हुई है इस पे हमारा नेम प्लेट डिटेल्स समथिंग यू कैन सी हियर 1600 एंपियर तक है रेटेड करंट ठीक है 1600 एंपियर है और रेटेड वोल्टेज 1600 एंपियर 1600 एंपियर इट कैन ब्रेक इसके अंदर क्या-क्या फंक्शन होता है वो देख लीजिए जैसे ये ऊपर ऊपर है 
ये है हमारा बटन जो ये है हमारा जो लोकल और रिमोट लोकल और रिमोट लिखा हुआ है इस लोकल पे हम जब करेंगे तो वीसीबी सो दिस ऑपरेशन फ्रॉम वेदर यू आर गोइंग टू ऑपरेट इन फ्रॉम द कंट्रोल रूम और फ्रॉम द यार्ड दैट इज अ लोकल और रिमोट जो ग्रीन कलर का ये ऑन का और ऊपर वाला ऑफ का है ब्रेकर का ऑपरेशन पर्पस ये जो है और अगर इसको हमने रिमोट पे भी जैसे रिमोट पे कर रखा है इसको हमने देखिए अभी हमने इसको रिमोट पे कर रखा है तो मतलब इससे हम सप्लाई लेके आगे और उसको हम दूसरी जगह से भी ऑपरेट करा सकते हैं कोई अंदर हम जो हमारा जो पैनल रूम है उस पैनल रूम से भी हम इसको ऑपरेट करा सकते हैं क्योंकि आउटडोर वी भी है तो यहाँ पे आने यहाँ पे आने से अच्छा वहाँ पर हम इसको ऑपरेट करा सकते हैं अभी इसको रिमोट पर कर रखा है और यह है एक टी स्विच है जो ट्रिप न्यूट्रल और क्लोज का है जैसे अभी हमको यहाँ से ऑपरेट नहीं कराना है यहाँ से ऑपरेट नहीं कराना हमको ये ये दे रखा है कि हमको क्या यहाँ से बार बार ऑपरेट कराएंगे तो ये वी के कंपोनेंट है तो क्या कभी वर्क फेल भी हो सकता है एक ही सी स्टेटस है ठीक है तो कभी फेल होए ये बटन तो हमको अंदर कंपोनेंट चेंज करने पड़ेंगे तो इसलिए क्या ये ऊपर ही एक बटन दे रखा है तो ये ऊपर बटन इसका काम क्या है हमारे ये टी इन सी इसको इस साइड रोटेट करेंगे ये क्लोज पे लेंगे तो ये वी सी बी क्लोज हो जाएगी मतलब ऑन हो जाएगी और ट्रिप पे कर देंगे अभी ये ऑन कंडीशन में वी सी बी तो ट्रिप पे करेंगे तो इंटरनल पार्ट इज शोइंग ट्राइंग टू शो spring charge generally so to operate the any breaker we require the spring charge so already we have seen a pneumatic hydraulic the spring manually operated by by universal motor we can operate it you can see this this one okay so that is a vcb you can say observe it so this is a vcb generally used here okay now you have just some idea about this one how the our vcb uh, play a vital role in Uh, our uh, distribution system physically same thing same process now let us see what are its uh, some merits and demerits of this vacuum circuit breaker now advantage of the vacuum circuit breaker what are the advantages here you can see it so there is no fire hazards or risk of fire here so to continue the flame we require the fuel oxygen and temperature if there is a temperature due to the arc and there is no oxygen and there is no fuel fuel if it's a metals so what is happening there is no oxygen so among the three one if not available automatically arc will quench so at the same time the vacuum circle breaker is vacuum circle breaker is a the sealed totally sealed vacuum itself there is no leakage if arc may not come out from the uh, interrupted chamber so there is no fire hazards or risk of fire so these breakers are compact in size you can see the big size of that one even the cylinder is a very very small so compact in size they require less maintenance and it increases their life span and these are highly re reliable and it means that they have high chances to perform arc extinction process successfully every time we can 
below on this one and noiseless operation is a quiet operation there is no need of the sounds pollution and arc energy is low as compared to the other circuit breakers and they can also withstand a lightning surges also it can withstand the quick operating operation takes place here so interrupt currents at its first off cycle itself only this is the one main advantage of among the all breakers so these are the some advantages now what are the disadvantages it has also disadvantages what are the disadvantages their voltage range is limited already we have seen 3.3 kv to less than 38 kv only if i want to make for the further voltage so i want to place the it is a modular uh, format that is a series connection we required so two uh, one or two uh, interrupting chamber we have to place in series that is a very costly not advisable so it is a only that is a disadvantages we can operate number of times but it is a limited to only less than 38 kv only for higher voltage it is not feasible not economical next and what is another disadvantage disadvantages if they are used for voltage level more than 38 kv then some units are to be connected in series which increases complexity and cost already we discussed extra care for leakage should be done so what we have observed if the outer glass appeared as a milky white that means the vacuum which is to require 10 to the power of minus 5 to 10 to the power of minus 7 tor then automatically there is a leakage through the bellows metallic bellows then what is a that is a thing we have to observe <coughs> comparing to the other breakers maintenance is free <coughs> but here is a here also this is also one maintenance required that means we have to always keep the required vacuum inside the interrupting chamber these are the three disadvantages of vacuum circuit breaker now after that application point of view where we are going to use already we have seen these are used for indoor and outdoor types indoor less than 38 kv so we are going to use in small industries and big industries where we are going to use in addition to the load break switches and in case of the outdoor we are going to use in substations 33 kv substations these are used both for indoor and outdoor applications they are very useful for remote areas like hilly areas or rural areas because of less maintenance and longer life at that case we are not bothered so remote areas we are once we are installed so no bother about them that will operate continuously without required any maintenance and these are employed for reactor switching so reactor switching capacitor bank switching and the transformer switchings because transformer inrush current is a very very high at the, the capacitor bank current also heavily reactive power and reactor switching also heavily reactive power so this high reactive power can be quenched with the help of our vcbs perfectly and not only this one so these are used for the railways as you observed nowadays so railway uh, locomotives used the acbs so these are the some applications of vcb now you have the some idea so what is uh, vacuum circuit breaker what are the different parts of circuit breakers what are the each part role in circuit breaker then how this circuit breaker operates under normal condition under uh, uh, abnormal conditions if abnormal conditions if the current is low if the current is very high at the same we have seen a different the material the metals used for contacts at the same time we have seen what are the advantages and disadvantages of this vacuum circuit breakers the so finally we have seen some applications of circuit breakers 
as also we have seen how it is a uh, in internal the uh, interrupting chamber interrupting the device in glass glass type we have seen in uh, one video as well as we have seen the 33k by 11k v substation how it is a mechanism operated so we have seen these all things i think based on this some ideas some inputs we are going to study more and more so thank you very much so let us summarize these are the summarize we have seen what we have seen in this period we have learnt about introduction of breakers salient points of vacuum circuit breakers construction of vacuum circuit breakers and operation of vacuum circuit breakers and merits and demerits of vacuum circuit breakers and application of vacuum circuit breakers so this we have learned in this session let us see the so remaining breakers in the next session that is the uh, air glass circuit breaker and sfc circuit breaker in the next sessions thank you very much for observing this class